Citrus Office Solutions are delighted to sponsor Falkirk TV. Citrus are experienced in helping reduce costs for businesses throughout the whole of the UK for office furniture, office supplies, workwear, print, catering and janitorial products. Visit the website today. Pressure, so your head goes down the line, picks out a good run from Rory Loy. Corner of the box, Taiwo supports, needs help, back to Loy. That's first time pass, so inside to Muirhead, just again got held up on this surface. You have to say, Stuart, one thing I'm really noticing when we're trying to play passing football, the ball is seriously slowing down because the grass is so long and underneath the pitch is heavy as Harris breaks forward and a howler from the keeper straight through his hands and his legs. Well, the Falkirk fans to the goal to our right, not complaining. But somehow, Graham Smith, I don't think he'll be happy watching that one again on the highlights, Stuart. No, he won't, but good work from Falkirk though, Lewis. It was good one-touch play between Alex Harris, Tom Tayo. What give Falkirk their due, and Alex Harris their due. He put the ball on target. Goalkeeper made a, a faff of it, so 1-0 for the Bairns. Good luck start. As you mentioned, the park as well, very long, certainly not long, a lot longer than it was when we played them a couple of weeks back. Nice work, but fault from Graham Smith. Bad goalkeeping. That's Rory Loy minds to turn. His defender has a shot, and Smith again gets the ball just. It doesn't look comfortable, does quiet. As uh, Adam Muirhead plays a crossfield ball looking for Nathan Austin. Oh, gets the better of the defender, however linesman saying it was a foul That's of some out. sort Alex Harris stands on his own over it, right foots it forward into the box for Balatoni, the flick on's there McGee tries to take it down flights it back in and only a fingertip save from Smith takes it away Taiwo tries to flight it back in but again the ball takes a Unexpected bounce, bounces away from Falkirk's number seven. Sinclair, Dale and D eventually Dyer clear the lines for Brecon. Muirhead though, wins it back for the Bairns. Goes down the right flank. Fairly robust tackle there, for, but nothing wrong with that. Mark Kerr beats two, beats three, finds Cregan. And the left footed shot, unfortunately, just uh, sliced across the ball. As Gallagher wins a header and Rory Austin manages to get in the box one on one with the goalkeeper it's a shot oh just past the post from Smith one on one with the breaking goalkeeper as Rory Loy picks the ball up for Falkirk Alex Harris picks the ball up oh cuts past a couple of men well done Alex heads into the box has a shot and plays the square pass to Dyer, advances, 30 yards out, chips it into the box on the far side, met behind him McGeever, confusion in the defence, and just as Crichton looked set to fire home, McGee sends out the uh, the leg, just to clear the lines, Falkirk living dangerously, ball to Graham, must be, and is, Brecon with a well-deserved equaliser, Falkirk defence under pressure, on this occasion, the flick on at the near post. The ball ultimately falling to Graham. Six yards out. From that kind of distance, unmarked. Kept his shot low. And absolutely no chance whatsoever for Robbie Thompson. So Miller, McGee, make their way into the box. Flicked on by Balatoni. Over everyone, including the goalkeeper. Again. Just over the Chip pass to... Lee Miller, fouled, but Craig Sibold picks the ball out, 18 yards, is a shot, oh, and saved by the goalkeeper. Dale puts his foot through it, back towards the 18-yard line, falls to Lane, one-on-one, -on -one. and that's a great one-on-one -on -one save from Robbie Thompson, 